What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm going to be telling you the story of the jack-o'-lantern. So in Among Us we all know that there are jack-o'-lanterns across most of the maps in the game but one of them came to life and I'm here to tell you everything that happened. Also if you want to see more of these type of videos make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel with the bell icon turned on. That way I know that you want to see more of these type of videos. But now let's begin. So Halloween is a holiday that a lot of us really enjoy. We can go out and trick or treat with our friends and get a ton of candy. And we also get to look at each other's costumes. And for one day of the year, you can be anyone you want, within reason. I wanted to play some Among Us and I wanted to show the crewmates my new costume. I was going to be a Yeti for Halloween. Do you guys like my outfit? I really do. And the other crewmates in the lobby were also dressed up for Halloween. We all had our costumes and we were ready to go trick or treating. We entered the game and I went down the hallway and I could see a ton of Halloween decorations. I'm really feeling this new spooky season in Among Us. But every Halloween there are a lot of strange things that happen. And while I was walking down the cafeteria, I started to hear this really strange noise and I wasn't really sure where I was coming from. But first, I need to get myself a drink. I'm getting really thirsty. But where is that noise coming from? And then a body was reported. Whatever that noise was, it sounded like some sort of creature. Who knows, maybe Among Us added new sound effects. I let the crewmates know that it was spooky season and that I was really scared. I then spawned in and I could hear that really strange noise. And then I looked at the jack-o'-lantern and it was glowing. I've never seen the jack-o'-lantern glow before. I found that really strange and I left to go do my task but then the lights turned off and I had to make my way over to the office where I would turn on the lights with the other crewmates. But while I was in there, I was eliminated by the imposter. Maybe that jack-o'-lantern gave me really bad luck. I let the crewmates know, what? That jack-o'-lantern gave me bad luck. I moved on with my day and I joined another lobby with a few other crewmates that also had their Halloween costumes. Which, they looked really cool. They looked better than mine, to be honest. I then spawned into the game, but then something really strange happened. I was teleported when I entered the game and I had a doctor role that I didn't even know was an Among Us. And my name was also Blue and I had a heart next to my name as well. I just found it so strange that I was teleported when that has never happened before. A body was then reported. And what I found really strange was that I was able to see how the crewmates died. It says that they were eliminated by the imposter. I let the crewmates know, what is wrong with this game? It says I am a doctor, which is not a role in Among Us. They then told me that the lobby was modded, which I didn't even know was a feature in the game. So this is how you guys have those cool costumes, is what I told them on my last message. I then spawned back into the cafeteria and I started to hear that really strange sound once again so I decided to hide in the balcony. I didn't really know where to go. That jack-o'-lantern is really scaring me. So I decided to leave. But then when I went into the cafeteria I found a piece of candy on the floor. Which I found really strange. I wonder what crewmate dropped for Halloween candy. We then ejected Rose. And I spawned inside of the decontamination room, which I didn't even know was possible. This is such a weird lobby. And when I walked into the locker room, I found a piece of candy on the floor. And I began to follow the pieces of candy that were on the floor. I went up into the hallway and continued to find more pieces of candy on the floor. The pieces of candy then eventually led me into the greenhouse. And looks like another crewmate had the same idea as well. He was trying to get the candy. But while I was there, my game began to glitch and everything around me just became much more dark. I didn't know what was happening until I saw an orange light. And I saw a giant creature. It was a jack-o'-lantern. But he turned into a monster. I then quickly made my way out of the greenhouse because I didn't know what was going on. Is this some secret Among Us event? 
I went down into the cafeteria to look at the jack-o'-lantern and it was glowing. Did the jack-o'-lantern come to life? The jack-o'-lantern that I saw back in the greenhouse looks very similar. And that could explain the pieces of candy that I found on the floor. That was not the crewmates. That was a jack-o'-lantern. I then went to the launch pad to make an escape. And then I was eliminated by myself. Another Chari eliminated me. Maybe it was a jack-o'-lantern trying to prevent me from leaving Mira HQ. I let the crewmates know how did I die. I died to Chari. And then I looked at my screen and there was a bunch of roles that I've never seen before. There was a mayor, there was a jester, there was the doctor which was me, there was a witch, there was just a bunch of different roles that I've never seen before. How did I encounter the jack-o'-lantern in Among Us? The screen then showed defeat and it showed the jack-o'-lantern as the one who won the game, which I found really terrifying. He eliminated everyone else, just like me. I then entered the airship map because I knew that there may be a chance that I can escape this terrifying imposter. I got on the platform and I went towards the other side of the gap room where I found a piece of candy on the floor. That's when I knew that I was up against a jack-o'-lantern for another time. And then I went down into the engine room where I found a body. But it was done by a shapeshifter so it's not exactly lime as it seems. After not getting the necessary information, I spawned inside records, where I found another piece of candy on the floor. And I knew that I needed to get away as soon as possible or else this jack-o'-lantern is gonna go after me. But it was too late. When I entered the engine room, the jack-o'-lantern was right in front of me, and everything around me was really dark. What is this jack-o'-lantern trying to do with me and why is he confronting me? What do you want from me? A body was then reported, but then nobody was ejected and I was back in the game. I was trying to find a way to get out of this airship map. I kept looking outside of the balcony trying to think of a method to get out of here. If only I can find my friend Heliposter to help me. Or maybe Captain. I don't know what to do. But that's when I heard the sound of the creature in the viewing deck. And I saw the giant jack-o'-lantern right in front of me. I knew that I was coroner and that this was the end. But then the jack-o'-lantern started to make candy rain all around me. The jack-o'-lantern just wanted to give me candy for Halloween. Well, that's nice of him. 